shoot, uh, I'm kind of lost for words. I'm not much on uh, opening statement right now. It's uh, just to see our kids celebrating our staff, to do it with uh, the number of kids we have out and at quarterback. I just can't say enough about JB and just his maturity and, and handling uh, the last two games that um, that we've had with BYU and then an, at an SEC stadium. Look, I brought a lot of good teams up here to this stadium back when I was in the league as an assistant and then as a head coach. And it, uh, I never left here re real happy. And uh, who would have thought that my first win in Fayetteville would have been uh, with Liberty, uh, a little FBS school that just turned in the FBS for the last four years. And I think it just speaks to our culture and our staff and just our kids' grit because uh, man, this season's been wild with the injuries and then to lose day day tonight. That's a huge blow to us and um, Didn't feel like I called a great offensive game, but just tried to manage it um, To where you know our defense was playing so good, but they had to play too many snaps for sure and we got beat up on that side too with Trey Sean and and Darrell going out and we're playing a bunch of freshmen out there at the end that Don't even know where to line up. It seemed half the time. So Man, it's going to be a fun uh, – we're going to celebrate this one. And um, I don't uh, – I'm Sam Pittman's a heck of a coach, and I know the hurt and sting that comes with the losses, you know, like this one. Um, and I hate that for him, Barry, and his staff. But it uh, won't take away from our celebration. I'm more happy for Liberty than I am sad for them. But I do I, – I understand what you go through in this profession. So – so thankful, thankful for our administration um, and um, just really thankful for our kids. Two point conversion attempt. What did you see? Did you even see who made the tackle? Do you know? The Thank Ahmad, but uh, it was probably several. Um, I thought the replay absolutely is no way you can overturn it, um, the call on the field. So I thought it was the right call. And um, I don't know who made it, but I, uh, the way Ahmad was celebrating, I would guess he was in on it. Talk about your defense and, and having to, to get it done where it was some patch work down the stretch, but early on they dominated mm -hmm. the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I thought I thought early on we were the better team. I thought we were the better team. I thought we played harder and um, you know, just thought we were better at halftime. And um, we obviously are their depth wore us down some, but um, you know, I thought our kids played really hard, our defense played really, really well the first half. Ooh. This one may be number one. <laughs> I don't know. I have to think process all of that. You know, we beat some ACCs, but to come in an SEC stadium, look, I know it's hard as heck to bring an SEC roster in a stadium on the road in this league and win. It's hard. I lived it. And um, again, to bring um, our group of five roster in here to win is. Um, be hard pressed to say that this is not at least one one A or one B. What does it say about not only being able to win this, but being shut out in the second half? Still yeah. Players. Well, like I said, I wish I don't know. I wanted to be more aggressive because I thought we had shots with Demario in the past game because they just really I was kind of shocked, but they really just said, you know what, we can't stop them. We're just going to blitz every play and. Um, I really thought we could have gotten 12 personnel and, and thrown some double moves. But I keep looking at the clock and saying, God, man, we're two scores ahead. With That's with two two-point conversions. Just be smart. And I'm not – I'm a risk taker by chance. And um, maybe should have taken that field goal. But the book said go. And I kind of felt like we had a good play. And I thought Shadro just – he bounced it wide instead of hugging the double team. Um, but it says a lot for us to manage the game the way we did and not score the second half and, and beat an SEC team for sure. And, dude, how did you lose the weight? That's incredible. Dude, that's incredible. You look great, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Nah. We didn't do anything special other than played hard, and you know we we felt like 
our D line, we could put our guys on the move and stop the run and try to make them throw it. And Darn, we had them a couple times, all them dang four down conversions, and, and the game wouldn't have been that close, I don't think. But And then we had our mitts on Big KJ several times and just couldn't get him on the ground. Um, and so that was a little frustrating, but um, just really, uh, you know, our kids, Josh and Jack, Jeremy, Tanner, Eubanks, you know, they do a good job coaching our defense. And um, they had a good plan, and our kids played really hard for 60 minutes. Put this in perspective, you held them to 144 yards rushing. That's the season low for them. The only other team to hold them to less than 200 was Alabama. You said it. I didn't. So <laughs> it's pretty good. I, 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 Yeah. Yeah, we were uh, we were pretty good last year too. Um, I would say we're a little deeper this year. Thank God, because we we needed some bodies there at the end. Um, but I think we're a little deeper and maybe a little I don't know twitchier at a couple spots. Your three touchdowns in the first half came after a block punt, a turnover on down, and interception. Just how important was it to the offense in this big game? Huge. I mean, in a game like this, you knew. You know, with our you know quarterbacks that are out, and then Day Day going down, I really thought we were fisting, we were hammering on some in the run game with Day Day, and Shadro did too. But they really started bringing more people than we could handle in the run game. Um, I think we had some things, but anyway, yeah, it was big to be opp opportunistic for sure. Yeah, thrill for Shadro. I mean, obviously, uh, the loss of his father was difficult, and we just loved on him and let him make the decision. And um, he chose to be with his teammates, and we're sure thankful that uh, he was here to play such a, a vital role for us. You brought up Day Day. Did you get any uh, update from Day Day? We're, we're hopeful that it's uh, just LCL, but we're not we're not real sure until we get the MRI. That's hard for me to say. I, I wasn't part of that. Um, I know he's crushed not to because he loves the game now. He loves to practice. He loves to play. And, um, you know, he, he loves being the ball in his hands. So um, I'm sure he's hurting, but he's happy for our teammates too. Do you, I want to go back to the Southern Miss game. You guys had a two-point stop there to win it for overtime. Does that feel similar to needing a, a stop there so close to the goal line? Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. This is a whole different deal. Yeah. <laughs> but just to do that again, to show to stiffen up when you know, defense is gassed. Yeah, you just got to make a play. I mean, obviously, I felt like we had control of the game and then give them credit. They converted, I don't know how many third downs and fourth downs in those last two drives. It felt like 100. And, um, you know, we just got to make a play at some point. We were gassed and thin and um, – but, uh, man, we made one.